But once we were awarded the project, <clears throat> having clearly understood the expectations, not only that we hold upon ourselves, but has been placed upon us by the client, we had to then go design a program that would at least equal those expectations um, for the project. Some of the things that we did are, are now becoming standard throughout the industry, but we do believe that there are a few innovations that we implemented that uh, you know, helped us to achieve the results that we did. Um, one of the things we did is uh, screened uh, all our subcontractors prior to contract award, and we would not consider hiring any subcontractor with the EMR greater than a uh, 0.95. Um, if for some reason we had to consider a contractor of greater than a 0.95, we would do so only if there was a specific risk plan in place of how we would address any, uh, any of their activities. Um, we had f several full-time safety managers on the job site. I think we peaked at about 15 people in our safety program. We provided orientations uh, for every single worker who would come on site, including training not only in our rules, but also in rules of uh, Boeing and the client to make sure that everyone understood how to operate on the campus. Um, we had full security around the entire campus with uh, badges. Um, and that's what I'm very interested in hearing some of the other presenters and their options to make that process easier, but it did provide benefit for us at the Boeing site. Um, <clears throat> Some of the other initiatives that we, uh, we implemented um, were pre-employment screenings for not only B and K, but also for the 2,500 subcontractors on site, which included um, doctor's examinations, um, what we called fit for duty examinations before they were allowed to come on site. And one of the things that helped us to do was to identify um, any particular restrictions that that employee should have and uh, how we can adjust what their work requirements are to make sure that we're placing them in the, into a occupation that they can actually perform safely. Uh, once we started on the project, there was a lot of uh, initiatives such as the random drug screening where we continue to test people for, um, for banned pharmaceuticals during the course of the project. We conducted the weekly safety meetings. We had uh, weekly supervisor meetings with all the superintendents where we'd talk about the policies on the job and we would set whatever the expectations were gonna be across the entire project. We also had weekly newsletters that we would send out, uh, you know, flash email newsletters to all the subcontractors on the job, including their home office management, where we would discuss any uh, particular hazardous activities which were coming uh, due in the next few weeks and what the plan was to address them. We would uh, disseminate what the safety performance was on the job today and make sure that we're communicating to our entire workforce. Um, we also had uh, LED signs placed on the outside of trailers where we could flash uh, any instantly any messages to the workers where as they were coming into the site for the day, we could say, hey, be careful in such and such area. There's a particular hazard there that didn't exist this yesterday or pass along any other information that we felt was relevant. Um, we also utilized the TSTI, TSTI process, which is our um, term for the daily task analysis, where before you do any work on the site, you have to uh, sit back and think a little bit about the hazards that are present in that task and how you would address those hazards and make sure that uh, that work can be done safely. Um, in addition to the incentives that Boeing had presented, we also had other incentive programs that we offered our workers, including any subcontractor who had an incident-free week, and those subcontractors' names were put in the pool where we drew each week for small prizes and gift cards that went out to the craft. And it could be anything from uh, you know, gift cards to fishing rods to probably the most valued prize was give them a prime parking spot right in front of the entrance to the facility. So uh, uh, it provided a large incentive in order to, uh, to work safely. safely. The taproot investigations uh, was a tremendous tool. So in the rare incident that we did have any event, and not just an event that had uh, resulted in an injury, but even near misses and property damages, we took seriously and we investigated with the taproot inspection where we would have a team that would uh, get together for several hours, if not days, figure out what the root cause was of a uh, problem, and then we would figure out a way to address it to, uh, to prevent that from occurring in the future. At the end of the day, all the initiatives with Boeing support and the support from our home office and our leadership, again, been on the campus 10 years, over 9 million man hours without a single lost time incident, um, four years on this particular project, and a safety record that we're very, very, very proud of. So 
But we're awful interested today and in to hear about some of the new technologies and new things that are being offered of uh, how we can continue to chip away at uh, safety and make the workplace better for all of us.